Hi, welcome to another edition of Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. Today we're going to look at a plugin I've written called Insert Bars at Beginning. It's already available for download at the Sibelius Plugins download page. Sibelius has a number of functions for creating bars. Go to Create and go to Bar and you'll see three options. There's an option for creating bars at the end, for creating a single bar after a selected bar, and an option for creating other, which allows the user to specify the number of bars they'd like to insert after a selected bar. But Sibelius has no function for inserting bars at the beginning. This is problematic as many composers compose most of their piece before their introduction. So to insert bar at the beginning, the only way you can do this without my plugin is to copy the first bar, or at least the material within the first bar, to insert a bar after that, delete the material, and then paste it to the new bar. This can become problematic when there's many instruments present, or if the formatting is uh, quite intricate, or particularly if there's hidden stabs in the score. So to do this in a much easier fashion, we can use my plugin. Let's undo what we've done here. You don't have to click on any bars or anything of that sort. Just go to plugins, find where you've installed the plugin, go to insert bars at the beginning, and a dialog will pop up. There's a number of parameters, the first of which is how many bars you would like to insert at the beginning of the piece. Let's choose four. That's a rather regular number for an introduction. Then the next option is for the time signature. The first is the time signature numerator. This is how many beats will be in that bar. So let's write a piece, uh, I'm sorry, let's write an introduction in 6-8. So you choose 6 for your time signature numerator, and you would choose 8 for your time signature denominator. Then there's a parameter for the key of your introduction. And since our piece is in C major, G major seems like a reasonable key to start our introduction in. We can go to OK. And there it is. It's created four bars with the correct time signature. Notice, though, that the trumpet is a transposing instrument, so its, time sig its key signature is different. There's the correct time signature, and there's the correct number of bars. Now you can go on as normal, composing your introduction. Feel free to contact me with any questions, comments, or suggestions. I can be reached at musictranscriber at yahoo.com.